So, I have a confession. I did not do any daily doodles the last week. Between work and spending time with my mom and doing physical therapy and working on this piece, I just kind of didn't do them. I mean, like, I could have done them, but I didn't. So, yeah. The reason that it's cropped the way it is is because when I started watching it, I was actually, or started drawing, um, I was actually watching a stream on Twitch and had it off to the side and had trunk in the window, but wanted to draw while I was watching. So even after I finished, I just kind of kept it cropped so that there was, you know, kind of consistency throughout the video. Because I went from watching one stream to another one and then I was Skyping a friend and I didn't want her little Skype window to be inside of the video. Just, you know, so she wasn't... You know, I wasn't putting my friend's face all over YouTube. Um, this is me that I'm using as a base here. Um, with my, you know, glowy robot eyes. I'm like the only one in my family who ends up with that problem of the, the demonic red glow. The, uh, this particular picture I started drawing uh, just because I wanted to draw the character again, but also because one of the YouTubers I watched, she was actually the one whose stream I was watching, Caitlin McKaig is doing a, a KMIOC a thing on her, uh, Words. So she hit uh, 30,000 subscribers, so she decided as, you know, a thing to celebrate that, she'll take one of her watchers' uh, subscribers' OCs and redo it in her art. So I figured, hey, I've been meaning to redraw or draw an actual picture for this character, I might as well draw it and, you know send it over to her and see if she see if it gets picked. Uh, this character in particular is uh, her human name is Claire and then her her true name is uh, Karina. It's a name I made up. I mean it might be a legitimate name but as far as I know I made it up. But she's the yellow dragon of the center from Asian mythology. Um, if you watched my uh, white tiger video, you might notice, you might uh, recognize the reference picture that I have there for her. Um, but this is her humanized form, her spirit form, as I call it, where she's a person with dragon parts, dragon person, person. <laughs> I'm, I'm not good at like giving explanations and details. I'm sorry. I apologize. But in... from all of the mythology and stuff that I can... all the information that I can find, um... the yellow dragon is... element... all of the different beings from this particular mythos have an element, and the yellow dragons is Earth. Well, she's a yellow dragon and she's glowy, so I decided to also add light just for my own personal uh, means. I do use this character in a Bleach fanfiction that I'm writing, almost done with. I still need to finish the like final chapter, but it's this huge fight scene, and I'm not good at writing fight scenes, so I'm like stalling. And it's been months, and it's bad, but it is what it is. I'll get it done. I will. Eventually. Um. But, so, in her top hand, she has, she'll be having a, a light orb, and then in the hand that's lower, she'll be calling the earth up to her. Um. So, you know, once more, like all the rest of the pictures I've been doing recently, I was trying to challenge myself both on posing, um, uh, but the uh, effects. I tried to use the layer effects again, but 
they weren't doing really what I wanted them to. Um, expression is another thing that I was working on. Uh, I obviously kind of cheated with the pose and the body proportioning, considering I used myself and just basically traced over myself. So I suppose that's cheating, quotation marks around my cheating. But I mean, if you don't, you know, use a reference from real life, then how can you draw something that looks semi-realistic, right? Right? I don't know. I cheated. <laughs> We're just gonna go with that. The, uh, the stone, the, the, the plating, the armor plating on the chest are, uh, meant to sort of be like crystallized stone light, crystallized light. And they, uh, they actually are meant to pulse at different intervals, so like sometimes one or two of them will be brighter and some of them will be darker, but they all glow. So yeah, one, one of the other things um, that I was trying to work on was motion, you know, like the movement of a still item, if that makes sense. I mean, because when you're drawing somebody in motion, you still have to give the impression of motion even though it's a still frame and I have a lot of trouble with that. I think I did a fairly good job with this one. I mean she's supposed to be kind of like going up into the air and like being all floaty and floaty and floaty. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not it, flying magically through the air like dragons do. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the foot bothers me. Like, I've fixed it like six or seven times and it still bothers me. Straight lines. Um, of course, one of my like ultimate goals is to be able to like cosplay as this character of mine. Because I think that would be really fun, but it would be so hard, especially with the wig. With how long the wig is and the tail. Because I'm not... I managed to uh, sort of make a shirt tank top thing once. But I had help for that. And everything aside from like the brown pants in this would need to be created and even the pants would probably need to be uh, fixed up and stuff considering they're supposed to be like silky so actually I probably would have to make them myself unless I ordered found a place to order them online yeah I don't know it's not going to be anytime soon that I managed to cosplay her. Uh, la, 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 la. I'm really happy with how the final product, pro yeah, product for this came out though. It came out actually a lot better than I was hoping it would. Um, yes. I'm going to just let you watch the video now. Shh, quiet.
So this is just a random thought that came as I'm watching it play to make sure everything's okay. Um, you'd think with all of the yellow in this picture and this character, considering she's one of my favorite characters that I've managed to make up, that uh, yellow would be one of my favorite colors. This, however, is not true. I have like five favorite colors and yellow was not a single one of them, which is kind of amusing. Um, I actually find it really hard to use yellow, but it, I mean, she's the yellow dragon, so I kind of have to use yellow, just because, you know, it's kind of in the name. But despite that, and yellow not really being um, a favorite color of mine, I do really enjoy drawing this character, um, and her design that I've created for her. This is actually a redesign I did for her. Her original design was like really lame and boring and like really uninteresting. But again, despite all of the yellow and it not being a color I typically like, I am, I really, really enjoy coloring and creating this character. I think, you know, that, that kind of matters, like, you can draw something, like, I don't like pink. Like, I, I really don't like pink, but if I were to ever draw a character that I really, really enjoyed, then I think I'd be completely okay with using pink if that character, you know, required pink. Just because it was something I enjoyed painting, or drawing, or whatever, digitally painting, I guess. Um, I, yeah. I was trying to do rim lighting, and it wasn't really working the way I wanted to. But I kind of figured it out. Just trying to add shading to the face without making her look old. It's kinda hard in my head figuring out how exactly to shade and highlight the code, especially considering the fact that there's a light orb directly above her and it's coming down, but there's also light from around, so it's like, how exactly, you know, where do I put the shadows, and... I think I did a decent job for it, considering I'm not used to doing a light source like that. Probably still could have done better, but... You know, with practice, it'll get better and better, and that's just kind of how it is. I really like how the, um... The scaling came out for a, uh, you know, her, her dragon scaling orange bits. It's kind of jumpy in this spot just because of what I was doing. This is where I started trying to play with the uh, the layer effects and then just kind of gave up after a few minutes. I feel like I should explain the uh, the head crest in the the mythology about the yellow dragon. It specifically states that the yellow dragon is a hornless dragon, but 
I wanted to give the dragon, because I initially created the dragon design before I created her personification design, and I wanted to give the dragon a little bit more of a regal look, and it wasn't working without horns, so I decided, well, it has the element of earth to it. So, wouldn't it technically be possible for it to take the mane that I gave it and crystallize the uh, fur, hair, whatever, and create a crest? So they're not technically horns, it's just crystallized fur slash hair. And that, that's, that's where that comes from. So I'm not technically going outside of uh, what the mythology is. But I found a workaround, and I was pretty pretty proud of myself for that. It's my uh, my stones that she's calling up to herself, the uh, the earth. I think I did a pretty good job with with my little earth rock things, considering I don't draw earth very often. And then I managed to uh, what I think got a uh, a nice um, motion blur on them. You'll see that in a little bit here. And then, while I did do a full background, quotation marks, it is kind of a sort of lazy background. I mean, it's grass and, and ground and it's blurred and not blurred and... Yeah. Rocks. <laughs> I'm sorry. All of the little touch-ups. Here I was trying to, I wanted to try and add a motion blur to her, and was playing around with whether or not I liked it or not, and then the end decided to not go with it, just because I felt like it sort of looked messy, um, if I did that, and didn't really feel like it added too much to the picture. But yeah, even if she doesn't pick it, if Caitlin McCaig doesn't pick it to, you know, redo, I still had a lot of fun making this picture. Um, so, till next time then. See ya!